With a legendary career spanning nearly 60 years, Jack Nicholson is considered one of Hollywood's all-time greats. But the award-winning actor hasn't appeared in a movie since 2010, meaning fans only get to see him when he pops up at award shows. So what's up with the actor's disappearance? Well, if you think you can handle the truth, keep on watching to find out why we don't hear from Jack Nicholson anymore. His last film was a bomb. Nicholson's last film, 2010's How Do You Know, should have been great. It boasted an all-star cast including Paul Rudd, Reese Witherspoon, and Owen Wilson, while reuniting Nicholson with Terms of Endearment and as good as it gets writer and director James L. Brooks. However, the film was a critical failure and a box office bomb, earning just over $48 million worldwide against a budget of $120 million. At the age of 80, Nicholson has to really want to be in a film these days to bother. And with his last movie being such a disappointing experience, it's no wonder he's shied away from movies ever since. No. You do not have the luxury of not hearing this. God, are you going to make me literally run from bad news? The board has these... Memory loss. Long gaps between films is actually nothing new for Nicholson. As he's gotten older, he's frequently taken long breaks between movies while waiting for the right project to come along. With four years transpiring between As Good As It Gets and The Pledge, and three years between Something's Gotta Give and The Departed. But in 2013, rumors began swirling that his current break wasn't caused by a lack of interest, but instead by the rigors of old age, as Radar Online reported that Nicholson was suffering from memory loss. A source told the tabloid, Jack has memory issues and can no longer remember the lines being asked of him. Not so fast. Reports of Nicholson's supposed memory loss immediately went viral, sparking a debate in the media over whether the allegations were true. Just a few weeks later, however, a pretty reliable source came forward saying that Nicholson was doing just fine. That source? Nicholson himself. Yep, Nicholson sat down for a rare interview with The Sun and explained that his memory is totally fine. Instead, he chalked up the reason for his absence to simple boredom with the whole movie star thing, saying he was enjoying the retired life. I'm not going to work until the day I die, that's not why I started this. I mean, I'm not driven, I was driven, but I'm not. I don't have to be out there anymore. In fact, there's part of me that never really liked being out there. I don't enjoy it, simple as that. And that certainly has the ring of truth. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Don't call it a comeback. Given his legendary status, you'd think Nicholson would pretty much have his pick of movie roles. And you're right. In just the past few years, Nicholson has reportedly turned down offers to appear in films like The Judge, 42, and Nebraska, with those roles instead going to Robert Duvall, Harrison Ford, and Bruce Stern. He was also involved in St. Vincent before recommending Bill Murray for the role instead, and his pal Warren Beatty tried to get him to star in Rules Don't Apply with No Luck. But his acting days might not be entirely behind him just yet. According to Variety, Nicholson is planning to return to the big screen for a remake of the German comedy Tony Erdmann, which earned an Oscar nomination for Best Foreign Feature. Of course, he's changed his mind before, but here's hoping we get to see Jack doing his thing on screen at least one more time. Here's Johnny! <laughs> and if not, well, considering that Nicholson has appeared in some of the greatest films of all time and given us some of the most indelible roles in movie history, it's clear he has nothing left to prove to anyone, least of all himself. All we can say is, thanks, Jack. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.